Hey everyone, it's Ross, and today we're inside. We're going to show you guys the house plants, or some of them, that I think are worth mentioning. Um, I've definitely gone through a big phase of house plants before I got into fruiting plants, and I've realized why well, have uh, house plants when they don't give you anything other than some nice feng shui, you know, some nice atmosphere in the room, but why not grow something that's going to give you something back? But house plants certainly have their place. And I think they're beautiful, and there's a few that I really want to talk about. This one here is the ficus. And um, there's another one back here that we just picked up at Home Depot. Um, it's braided, you can tell. And we got this one for my girlfriend for her birthday. I'm holding it, caring for it until I can get it to her place. But uh, this little guy here is my ficus. It has a really nice form. They tend to weep to some extent. Um, it's got a really nice bonsai-like form to it. And if I can move this just a hair, you can see that beautiful form. And these trees do really well in indoor conditions. One thing I'm going to recommend is that if you have a small house plant, you want something to look really nice, stick it outside for a season. You know, put it out there in the spring and let it hang outside until the fall and then bring it back in. The problem is you just got to make sure you're adjusting that house plant to the sun when you first put it outside. Otherwise, you'll really burn the leaves and it won't be very good for the house plant. Same thing goes for any, um, any plant that you bring from outdoors, indoors, or indoors, outdoors. This here is the spider plant. My friend Dom gave me this. Dom, if you're watching, this is your plant. It's seen a, f a few better days, but for the most part, I'm just letting it hang out. I'm not really doing anything special to it. I don't really care for these um, these plants that much in terms of like, I just water them. I don't feed them very, uh, very often. If I really want a plant to grow, I think it needs to get a better size to look nicer. Again, I'll put it outside for that whole summer. Uh, but the thing about the spider plant, it sends out these little runners and you can then root these very easily in a new pot. I think they're very beautiful plants in terms of their foliage. They get these little weird spider looking things that come off of them and this uh, I think gives them a nice effect. Let's bring you guys around back over this way. I have a whole jungle in my room. I don't really want to be filming my room but uh, there's really a whole mess of houseplants in there. What you're looking at here is a yucca. And I think yuccas, we just picked this one up at the store as well for my girlfriend. But I have a yucca upstairs that is beautiful. It's really uh, quite big. And I think yuccas make amazing houseplants. I would just, I would suggest that of all the plants I've shown you guys so far, they really don't need a whole lot of light. Um, just some low light, indirect light conditions. Occasionally you'll water them. With, in the case of the yucca and in the case of the the spider plant, they'll kind of droop and that's when you know you need to water them. This is the biggest problem with with growing houseplants um, because they're in containers and the soil that they choose for these houseplants really sucks. It's mostly peat moss, holds a lot of water, really not good. So what I suggest is either up pot it into a better soil. Don't remove the old soil. Or you need to make sure that they're getting the adequate amount of water. You don't want to overwater them. You want to make sure you're putting them in the appropriate amount of light. Uh, otherwise, you're going to regret it. What's next to it here is the fiddle leaf fig. And this is probably the epitome of a house plant in my mind. This one has a pretty decent form to it, but it needed some water this morning. We just gave it some water. Um, these are really uh, inexpensive from like Home Depot and you can really raise them, put them outside for a season. They'll get a really nice size to them. They grow just like figs. So do the ficus, right? The ficus, the fiddle leaf fig, they're all related to figs. They do great in containers. Put them in a container outside, you know, roughly a seven to 10 gallon size pot. That's beautiful, hopefully. It might be a bit heavy because it might be made out of clay or ceramic, but uh, it really will benefit the tree and you'll have a beautiful looking plant that will be maybe, you know, $20 to start and it'll look like it's $400. You know, these trees go for insane prices. 
But I want to point out down here, this is only a five gallon pot. It desperately needs an up potting. Um, we had some of these outside for two years and they really didn't grow all that much last year because they're extremely root bound in this pot. They're very vigorous. I had about 14 of these with the intention to sell them at some point. Um, but they don't really do well outside without a greenhouse. The leaves start to look kind of messy a little bit. They will put on crazy amounts of growth though. So I think that's the most important thing is that if you can kind of keep them out of the elements, it's really worth it. And if I had a greenhouse, I'd certainly be growing a lot of those. Um, this is my other favorite house plant here. This is called split leaf philodendron, AKA the Swiss cheese plant. There's so many names for this plant. It has the nicest looking foliage out of any plant I know of. Um, it's so beautiful. The foliage changes as the plant matures and gets older. We just got a couple of them actually for my girlfriend. And she has them now in her house and she's gonna do the same thing that I've done here to get this really nice leaf pattern here with the holes, the slits in the leaf. It's really important to get the tree at a mature state. You can see down in here, um, it does form actually not really a trunk, but it kind of can grow upwards because it sends out these, these roots, these air roots that come out from the plant. These little nodules here will come down and root themselves. I've cut them all away because I think they're a bit ugly, but that's what they normally do in the wild is that they'll grow up a tree with these roots and they'll support themselves that way. I've supported it with a bamboo stake because I think it's more beautiful that way. I've seen other ones that are really beautiful where they've kind of laid them down on their side in a more horizontal pot and they've looked really nice that way. But I think the key here with these is that you can tell, you know, the youngest leaf is the, the one down below, the furthest one down below, then it gets older as it goes up until you get to the oldest here. And if you look at the younger leaves, this is a younger leaf. It doesn't have the holes in the leaf. Um, I have a second one of these upstairs that's just as beautiful as this. You can see, look, here's another younger leaf. It only has the splits in it. It doesn't have the holes. And as we get older, you can see, now look, here's some holes that are forming. We get even older. Look, the whole thing is now filled with le uh, holes in it. And then you just gradually get more beautiful leaves as the plant matures. Again, I would highly recommend you stick this one outside. The chances of you finding a mature one of these is very slim, but I would train it as a single stem plant um, or multi-stem, just at the most two of them. Put it in a decent sized pot. It doesn't need a whole lot of light, believe it or not. Um, because it's normally an understory plant under trees. It's a climber and you know what? It doesn't need a whole lot of water either. So um, for me, this plant is incredible. I put it in probably the one of the more shadiest spots of the house. You can see this window here to the sunroom gets in a lot of indirect light, but this corner is very, very, um, very dark. So if I put this thing right in the window, this thing would go nuts and it would put out many more leaves than it has in more recent times. But I'm not really concerned with that with some of these houseplants, you know? I kind of want them to get to a really nice state outside. Once they achieve that nice state, then it's all a matter of, okay, just maintaining them at the appropriate size and foliage that I like. And that's about it. Some of these certainly will, can grow in your house. Don't get me wrong. If we give these guys enough food, enough good soil, a larger pot, and of course the right window, all of these plants will grow really well. But all the plants I've just mentioned guys can pretty much grow in a window that gets almost no light. Um, just put them on the north side of your house, tucked away in a corner, and they'll for the most part do really, really well but you need to give them that indirect light all day. Say the fiddle leaf fig is an example. You have it in a really shady window that only gets indirect light, but say you only open up that window for 
you know, two to four hours of the day, that's not gonna work. So you really need to make sure that the, the blinds are open here. These things are getting the right amount of light. But for the most part, I've even had some of these plants downstairs in the basement that get absolutely zero light from the sun and only work on the LED bulbs uh, from above. So anyway guys, I would definitely grow some houseplants if you're not already. I, I can't imagine some of you guys are not. If you have a favorite houseplant that you like, let me know down in the comments below. There certainly are some good ones that I have not mentioned um, that are up in the room in my bedroom and I don't want to take you guys there. So, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this one. If you want to see more things like this, you know, that are a bit different than the videos, but kind of off topic, um, Go follow me guys on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, you know. We're on there as well. All different types of content is put up there. We also have a website, rossratty.weebly.com, where we have a nice blog that's been forming. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this little tour of the houseplants. I'll catch you tomorrow for tomorrow's video. Take care.